Hello everyone, it's Rob with MMORPG.com. I'm going to quickly tell you everything you need to know about the new PvP additions to Guild Wars 2 that will be introduced on April 30th, 2013. First, let's start with Spectator Mode. In order to access the Spectator Mode, you need to click the cross swords icons and the quick launch buttons at the upper left corner of the screen. Next, click on Go to Heart of the Mists. This will automatically move you to the PvP lobby. Then, speak with the PvP browser NPC marked by the cross swords icon on the minimap. You can join any PvP match. Once you've loaded the map, you'll be prompted with an information screen about the current match. Click the spectator eye at the top of the window to enter spectator mode. As you can see, there are a number of different areas on the map you can pick for your point of view. You can spend time looking underwater. You can check on different points of interest. At this point, we were able to see a small skirmish. Ferocity has appeared. It is also important to notice that you can see where the players are located from both teams on the minimap, so you can zoom straight to any hotspots. Enough with the god mode and let's move to the custom arenas. In order to set up a custom arena you'll need to be in the heart of the mist as well. In your inventory, double click the custom arena starter kit item. Next you'll have to enter an arena name at the create a custom arena window, then hit the create button. You can password protect your server, you can set the team size between 1 and 10, you can adjust the score limit between 1 and 1000, you can set the time limit between 1 minute and 30 minutes. You can set the respawn timer between 1 and 120 seconds. You can set the minimum player threshold between 1 and 10 players. You can set the reserve slots between 0 and 20. You can choose whether or not to let spectators watch. And why wouldn't you? Everyone's a pro, right? You can set whether or not there is a ready check. You can decide whether to let the match auto balance. You can force people to have locked gear and locked skills. You can also select no progression. This prevents people from having their achievements or lifetime statistics affected by the matches. And I missed it on the first pass, but you can see that players can either respawn individually or in waves. Down towards the bottom, you can choose to block people from your matches, only allow certain guilds in, and choose which maps you want to allow in the arena rotation. Thanks for watching. Make sure to continue to check MMORPG.com for all of your up-to-date Guild Wars 2 news and information.